There's been some urban legends of people flying under the bridge. I don't want to do that. Well, no. It would be flipping cool. It'd be the last thing you did in your flying career, but it would be cool to do. It's pretty high. You want it on your side? I'll, I'll put the bridge on your side so you can okay. shoot it. Arlington traffic, Legacy 16 Delta X-ray, departing runway 29, Arlington straight out. Never done 29. That, that's that one over there. Yeah, that's the one we landed on oh. the other day. A little bit shorter runway. There's trees. Well, don't hit the trees. Okay. Now for this, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Off the brakes. Hit the, hit the trees. That's good. Would be approach Legacy 16 Delta X ray. Legacy 16 Delta X ray would be approach. Will be altimeter 3025. Go ahead. 3025, just off of 29 in Arlington, is 1,000 feet, like uh, following up towards the tulip fields. And if we can get it, go through Deception Pass. We're going to do a couple laps around the field. Legacy 6 Delta X ray, Squawk 0464 would be altimeter uh, 3025. 0461. Phoenix 1 2, cross the initial at or above 3000, contact tower. How come I can't remember how to do that? Uh, zero. Ah. Mile 1 5, contact Seattle Center, 134.905. Zero. Four. Six. Legacy 1 6 Delta X ray, not receiving your transponder, squawk 0464. 0464, how about now? Legacy 6 Delta X-ray, radar contact, Navy would be uh, one five miles to the east, 800. That checks. Legacy 1 6 Delta X-ray. And uh, 6 Delta X-ray, I'll uh, terminate the services on you once you get closer to Skagit, and then once you're ready to come over to Deception Pass, uh, you can just give us a call back. Right on. I literally couldn't figure out how to put the, this code in the transponder. <laughs> oh, it's been too long. Oh, my gosh. You need to fly more. I was fingery messing with that stupid thing. It's bumpy out today. Yeah, it, probably because it's kind of warm and there was a little bit of a wind going. Oh, I see some different colors up there this time. So I've been thrashing on the race boat 16 days straight, 8 to 10 hours a day. And the bean here said, let's go flying. I'm like, thank you. I needed that. Haven't, we haven't flown since we went up to Skagit when we saw the daffodils. That's been over two weeks. So that's the reason we haven't had videos, because we haven't been flying. Now the weather's great, and it's time to go. We're doing similar route that we're going to go, because now the tulips should be fully up. All the colors should be super bright, so I hope that the, the tail camera picks up some of that stuff. Then we're also, we just talked to Whidbey Approach about going through Deception Pass. You've never seen that. That'll be cool to do. And then eventually get out to Friday Harbor out in the San Juans and go have lunch. We don't really know where we're going to have lunch. Or is it somebody traffic? Keep your eyeballs open because everybody's probably doing the same thing on such a pretty day. Yeah, band at 12 o'clock. Yeah, band at 12 o'clock, break club. So go out to Friday Harbor, park the plane, walk into town. Legacy 6 Delta x -ray, traffic 1 o'clock, 4 miles. Uh, looks like they're inbound to the tulips as well. 1,300 indicated type unknown. Legacy 16 Delta X-ray. Okay, one o'clock. Now that's that guy right there. He's at 1,300 feet. He's just below the Whidbey. Be... What are we at right now? We're 800, uh, 900 feet. So there was a bandit. It was a bandit. <laughs> oh, I see some red up there. Yeah. See, yeah, I'm starting to see some of the colors. Ooh, and yellow oh, and purple. There's some reds and 
Keep your eye on that guy. Let's see if we can get him visually. I mean, over in here somewhere. Oh, look at the purples. I know, they're so pretty. That guy's. I don't see him. I don't either. Oh. What? There's some colors. Let's go right up that. We'll fly, we can, that's the bad thing with that tail camera is you kind of got to fly straight over it to okay. see it. So we're going to fly right over these. And I also noticed too that when you're looking at a certain angle, the colors disappear. It's kind of weird. Oh, there's a plane right there. Delta X-ray radar service is terminated. Squawk VFR for change of cruise. 16 Delta X-ray. Yeah, see that guy right there? Oh, yeah. One three, cross the initial letter above 3,000. He's doing the exact same power. thing we are. He's a sneaky bandit. Oh, yeah, I don't think he's squawking or anything. Skywest 3349 will be approached. He'll be altimeter 3025. Contact Seattle Center. 125.1. We're both looking at the same stuff. He's really low. I see him. He's coming back this way. That's fine. There's some pinks. bunch of bandits. He looks like he's just like gliding, like floating. Is that because we're so much faster and badass? Yeah. Thought so. If we join up on him? Honestly, it may not be an idea, bad idea just to kind of follow him. Does he want a dog fight? I'm going to switch the guns here real quick. Oh, Beb! What? Don't make me throw up. Oh, there's not that many tulips out here. I say we head to the deception pass. Okay. Whippy Tower, Legacy 1-6 Delta X-Ray. Legacy 1-6 Delta X-Ray, Whippy Tower, go ahead. Yeah, we're doing uh, orbits over by the Tulips and Con uh, LaConnor. We'd like to go through the deception pass, sorry, if we can do that. Legacy 1-6 Delta X-Ray, altimeter is 3025, duty is 25, wind is 220 at 9, squawk 0474. 0474. Legacy 1-6 uh, Delta X-Ray, approved. Thank you. Okay. Man, getting all, so they're using 2-5, the base is right up there. How do you get more airflow over here? Um, there's a vent down there by your knee. You gotta kinda, it's right on the side. It's right. Is that black? Nope. Oh. It's, it's silver, it's up in there. And you gotta twist it left, and it sh it'll open Finish up. One, three, Mike, it's blocked. Okay. Find it? Left off yeah. on echo and contact ground, have a good day. It's so pretty out. You know where we're at? Oh, what for water. What significance is this area? What have we done in here? Many boating. No, the STV. Oh, we the STV. We went crabbing out here in the oh. little, it's a hundred mile an hour race boat and we took it crabbing out here. That was dumb. That was kind of dumb. It was kind of fun though. Then we took that, we, we literally punched through a wave and the bean got a little soaked. Yeah, that's an understatement. All right, this is going to be cool. We've never done. Gone through Deception Pass. Is it going to be bumpy? Probably nothing more than this. There's been some urban legends of people flying under the bridge. I don't want to do that. Well, no. It would be flipping cool. It'd be the last thing you did in your flying career, but it would be cool to do. Things pretty high. You want it on your side? I'll, I'll put the bridge on your side so you can okay. shoot it. Tell me when I'll give a little angle of bank. You do a little bit. I don't need a lot. It'll make me throw up. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Here it goes. Is that Mr. Martin? Is that? Can I look? No. Oh. And a quarter stop, you're right. Oh, what's that boat over there? Where? The big white one. Oh. Yeah. Let's climb up. Legacy 16 Delta S-Ray Squawk VFR, free change approved. Good day. 
Have a good day, Legacy 1-6 Delta X-ray. Well, there's the airport right there, literally at the fence. One of the places that everybody talks about in the flights over the Pacific Northwest and the $100 burger joints is the San Juan Bakery. So we're gonna jump in there and check it out really quick. Might get some donuts, stink up the airplane with donut smell, and get ready. So we have something to munch on in the morning. So we're gonna check out the San Juan Bakery. What? Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yeah, we gotta get something. We gotta get something. All right, so we just walked into town from the Friday Harbor Airport to Blue Water Bar and Grill. Tina does not like seafood at all. I love seafood and I love, on top of that, fish tacos. Like I try fish tacos everywhere I go. One of my favorite fish taco places in the world is in Maui at Coconuts. And uh, to me, that is the best fish taco in the world. And I would say that the fish tacos that I just had here at Blue Water, it was a cod, cod fish tacos and they're battered, which I like the battered. They were at least a top five. They were pretty flipping good. And the bean got chicken tenders. Yep. Her theory is no matter what, if we go to a seafood place, they always have chicken tenders somewhere. Is this the street you're going down? Yeah, we're going that way. You do? Yeah. So she got the chicken tenders, and how were the chicken tenders? They were good. I, well, I ate most of hers because I'm a glutton, and they were pretty good chicken tenders too. So overall, I would give that place a pretty good review. I don't know what we're gonna try to review all the oh there's a C8. With Squirrel. yellow. Squirrel. Squirrel. Um I would I would, I would say is a at least a four, four and a half stars out of five. Well, well I'll give about a four. Alright, she says four stars. My fit my cod tacos were delicious, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. But anyway, walking back to the airport, need to walk, work some of this. I think they are playing this out over gross weight because of the tacos and the fries and the tenders. Now I got a plan for taking off and heading back to Arlington. We'll talk about that when we get to the plane. All right, I got a key lime pie. What do you get, Bean? Raspberry tart. Raspberry tart, and literally for scale, there's the bakery right there. We're at the very northeast corner of this airport. The gate's right there, so you are super close. I didn't know that there's a full-on deli in there with sandwiches and everything, but if you didn't want to walk into town, that'd be the place to go. Something I want to talk about really quick is chalks. I don't have any chalks for this thing and I got to get some. So we parked kind of on the slope and there's a little bit of a ditch back here. So I was like, we got to put something in the wheels. So little ghetto Eric, put a crescent wrench. There's a chalk under there. And I have my, my bag from the airline and flashlight here so i need to get a set of chocks for this plane badly we were just talking at lunch maybe i'll make a carbon fiber set of chocks but i need to get something because a crescent wrench and a flashlight aren't going to cut it all right we're on our way back to ireland friday harbor traffic legacy 16 delta x-ray departing runway 34 straight out friday harbor
talk about it, but what I'm going to do... I live in Arlington, and the Seattle Class B airspace is pretty close to me. So I want to know, I've never tried this before, is if I can take off out of Arlington and climb up and go straight up and over their airspace. Seattle's Class B is 10,000 feet before I get to their airspace. So I don't know how, like what kind of, uh, how much distance do I got to cover to get to 10,000 feet in this thing? So we're going to kind of play with that a little bit here on our way back home. I'm all there. There's more power, free power, 2,500 RPM, perfect. Next year, lean as we go. Friday Harbor traffic, legacy 16 Delta X-ray, clear to the northeast, Friday Harbor. We got to watch our oil temperatures uh, when we're climbing here uh, at full power. Long down with That's why I'm a little bit faster. I'm trying to climb at 185 to 190. It's Keeps the oil temperatures down a little bit. 160, 150 is a good climb speed, but your oil's gonna get a little hotter. There's a plane down there. Where? How far down? Oh yeah. See, that's another thing. I think by climbing up here, you're gonna get away from a lot of the traffic. I don't think we would make it to 10,000 feet by their Class B. I don't think so. But you never know. Descent into Arlington and call good. That's 4.30, 4.40. Oh yeah, let's go home. Arlington traffic, two-chilling mic, turning final, runway two, nine or grass, Well, let's look to see if there's any, what the tulips look like from up here. Oh, you can't see. No. All, right. All the different colors. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. All right, we're going to call that good. We're at 9,200 feet. We might just go dropping in here with our speed brakes out. Coming in high. Yeah, we're going to come in high for sure. Arlington traffic, legacy 16 Delta X-ray, 15 miles to the west, descending. NRA left base, 2-9, Arlington, full stop. We're, the, we're looking right down the end of the runway right here. Okay, see our speed? We're going to be going fast, babe. As long as it's smooth, we're good. 250 knots right there. We are hauling. It feels like it. Yeah. I think we can make it now. We're not even going to do that. And I have you Okay, this could get to be a cluster. Hold on, babe, because I'm going to hit the speed brakes. I'm going to slow us down. Oh, just. Yeah, they're pretty effective. Positive uh, traffic, Skyhawk 630 on a 45 for it. Three downwind on way 29. Touch and go. Oh, okay. And aircraft looking across 29 from the grass here to go. Arlington traffic, Legacy 16 Delta X, trying a 45 down or downwind for 29 full stop, Arlington. It is busy. It is busy. And Arlington traffic, we need to find X right turning cross and one way 29 full stop, Arlington. All right, traffic lights, Scott, 7 Echo Bit Crossing, 1634, Bravo 2, Alpha 2. Traffic in the crosswind, Legacy 16, Delta X-ray is on your nose on a 45. I think I'll be able to stay out in front of you just fine. All right, I think I have you inside. Yep, got you inside, Arlington. That guy right there, that worked out pretty good, actually. Arlington traffic, Legacy 16, Delta X-ray, established on a left downwind for 2-9, full stop, Arlington. All right, Lantern, those gas is going to be there, prop and mixture trim. Yeah, I feel like I'm a little wide. Here we go. Oh, who's that? Where's that guy going to? Right there. Arlington traffic, Legacy 16 Delta X-ray, turning left base, full stop, 2-9, Arlington. Gear, 1-2-3. Arlington traffic, uh, 630 on final, one way 2-9, touch and go, Arlington. Okay, so that's that guy. Arlington traffic, experimental 3 Charlie Mike, downwind, 2-9 to grass, Arlington. We're going to eat that guy up, though. He's a Skyhawk, but he's doing a touch and go, so this should work out okay. So with that being said, I'm going to configure all the way down. Oh, it's traffic side, 55211, three miles southwest. I'll enter the downwind behind the Okay, right here is where it should happen. Somebody coming in from there. I don't see anybody at all. Should be okay. That guy's on a short final. Prop and mixture full forward, the flaps are 40, and the gear's down, landing checks are complete, we got her slowed down. Arlington traffic, Legacy 16 Delta X-ray, final for 29 full stop, Arlington. Arlington traffic, Mini 252 X-ray, Mike, base 29 full stop, Arlington. Okay, that actually worked out pretty good. Okay, we got three down, the flaps are all good. They got busy here. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic going.
How long was that flight, babe? Like 12 minutes. <laughs> but if we took a ferry, it would take us like six hours. Yeah. Did I tell you I bought a motorcycle? What? Yeah. <laughs> I was, you know, <laughs> I was thinking that you might show up with one in the back of Lana. I'm like, I got that little sneaker. I can see it. Charlie, Mike, final, Grass, Where do they uh, land? Traffic, uh, two, one, on one, the grass one, one, here. I don't know where they do that at. That was kind of fun to do that, to climb up, go fast, Arlington, super traffic, fast, decent, and Mike, Crossman, turn nine, pull stop, see it, and how to recover Arlington, from that. Traffic, sky, uh, 630, turn left, face, one, one, two, nine. Is this plane, like, you just point the nose down and you're doing 250, like, instant. Those speed brakes were aggressive. They are super aggressive. Well, especially going that fast, you'll really feel them. They're super effective in this Arlington, plane. Traffic, Mike, downwind, Monday, two, nine, pull stop, right. Arlington. We are going to sign out. If you haven't checked out our racing, our boat racing, is it racing or just boats? It's just boats. boats. Our boat channel is Jolly Roger 907. We're building a really cool jet sprint boat. Oh, the traffic, 1,000 okay, horsepower, okay, small block. And we're getting okay. closer to doing some water testing on it. But we appreciate you watching. Like the support, getting some pretty good comments in there. Let us know what you think. What do you want to see next? What should we do next? I think, uh, do we have any other trips coming up? Hood River next weekend. Oh, yeah, we're going to Hood River next weekend for a wedding. So if the weather holds up, we're going to be taking the place. Go. Uh, we'll be driving. So thanks for watching. Check us out next week. We're going down to Hood River and check that out. Right.